hello everyone and let's see what are the important sst parameters so first is what is symmetry factor or telling factor this is important theory assumes an ideal symmetric peak which is known as gaussian peak the front side deviation from the gaussian peak is known as peak fronting and the rear side deviation is known as peak tailing so if we have a like this peak so this is known as peak fronting this is known as peak tailing we will see in the de uh, detail in the coming slides it is a factor which describes the shape of a chromatographic peak and it is a measure of peak tailing define tailing factor the distance from the front side of the peak to the back side of the peak divided by the twice the distance so right from the here to here this is the peak width and this is the peak height so this is uh, we'll see in the coming formula distance from the center line of the peak to the front slope with all the measurements made at 5% of the maximum peak height so let us see so if you see a typical peak peak you see this is the typical peak so the width is this the peak peak width and then this is the height so this is the formula tailing factor width is equal to 0.05 divided by 2d width of the peak height at 120th of the peak height right at 120th means this one 0.05 d or h distance between the perpendicular dropped from the peak maxima to the base d or h this is the same thing so note as per ep or european pharmacopoeia in related substance test or assay the symmetry factor should be in between 0.8 to 1.5 unless stated so what does this say tailing factor is equal to 0.8 means it should be more than 0.8 and less than 1.5 unless otherwise is stated but this is the uh, fixed condition uh, followed in most pharmaceutical company what is theoretical plate how many how number of theoretical plates affect the column efficiency explained this is asked in the interview martin and since this was the uh, scientist use a chromatographic model involving a hypothetical division of a column into number of plates known as theoretical plate so theoretical plates is an imaginary part of the column so if you see this is a column this is a column hplc column with us so one imaginary line will be drawn here inside the column or we can say this is a theoretical plates this is not a uh, theoretical thing just an imaginary thing the num theoretical plate number is a measure of the efficiency per unit length of the column it depends upon the length of the column if it is 250 mm column or 100 mm column or 150 mm column so the efficiency will be dependent on this the higher the uh, peak length and the higher will be the theoretical numbers and higher will be the efficiency the larger the theoretical plate number the sharper the peaks right as i have already said the larger the theoretical num plate number means larger the this numbers and large and hard the sharper is the peak you see here as per usp you see this is the peak right and then the peak height and uh, width of the peak number of theoretical plates is equal to 16 uh, multiplied by tr means tr means the this one the retention time you see here tr m divided by uh, width of the this peak width of the this peak whole square this is as per usp peak width at the base and as per ep number of theoretical plates is equal to 5.54 tr by wh wh means half of the height half of the height of the peak to the whole square right this is important to remember what is signal to noise ratio explain in our chromatographic purity test this is very compulsory very compulsory to use this uh, sst parameter a signal to noise ratio is not calculated in the assay in assay we do not calculate this the short term noise influences the precision of quantification so signal to noise ratio useful system suitability parameter to identify noise effect of the quantification of impurities as i already said during the case of purity uh, it is very compulsory to identify the noise of the impurities or the quantification of impurities signal to noise is calculated by using this 2 as a s by n is equal to 2 h by h capital h by small h where height h is equal to height of concerned peak measured from the peak apex to the base extrapolated over a distance of greater or equal to 5 times the peak width and a small h is equal to difference between the largest and the smallest noise values observed over a distance greater than the 5 times width at the peak height of the half of height of the peak so let's see in the diagram signal to noise ratio is equal to 2h by h right so you see here this is the height of the peak this is the height of the peak 
and this is the h is the difference between the this is the baseline difference between the maximum noise and then the minimum noise of a baseline you see this one h by h this is greater h so this will always be greater value right it will be like 200 and it will be like 10 so 2 into 200 divided by 10 is equal to 40 signal to noise ratio signal to noise ratio is equal to 40 this is our value so this can be calculated in the same way as i described earlier h to h by h right same thing next is peak to valley ratio explain peak to valley ratio may be employed as sst criteria in a test for related substance where baseline separation between two peaks is not achieved so you see this is our two peaks we calculate the resolution between these two peaks as i have described in the part one resolution can be calculated because these are well separated but some of the peaks are like this so here separation is not there between the two peaks right so you see here in this case so in this case uh, p by v value is calculated means peak to v valley ratio means this is the peak and this is the valley to the uh, means how much it is separated from the second peak where separation is not achieved so this is done by into case of p by v hp is equal to height above the extrapolated baseline of the minor peak this is height hv is equal to height over above the extrapolated baseline at the lowest point of the curve separating the minor and the major peak this is the height of the uh, hv is equal to this is the height of the extrapolated baseline so you see here hp by v right as i have said here i said like this but in this case it is like this right so you need to understand hv this is the hv and this is the hp hp right hp hv so uh, this is all about our this video check out my few other important videos like difference in validation and calibration hplc and gc systems utility part one quality control weight lab analysis and then the quality assurance production department and then the pharma production department part two thank you for listening if you like please like to the video share and subscribe thanks a lot